Hello, everybody. Sup? It's me. Not for long. Not for long. Today, I'm here with Persephone Valentine, aka Persephora. And today, I am becoming a drag queen. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. I'm super excited. And a little bit afraid. You should be. But don't worry, the makeup's the easy part. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about the paint. There are parts that are painful, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like how I forgot to shave my body. Um, and so we're currently getting wax strips. Yeah, one leg of his body is shaved right now. Mm -hmm. One leg. Only one. Mm -hmm. well, let's let's go. Let's do it. Let's Put get on, to it. Put on the robe. Put on the robe. Put on the full fantasy. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. Like this? Yes. And now. Okay. Oh God. I don't. I don't know what. I'm, we're gonna teach you doing. how to be a lady today. Okay. It's time. It is time. It's time. Just so you know. No one ever tells you this in other drag videos, but everything has been disinfected because otherwise it's gross. I am excited and a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. I've never done this before. Yeah. It's a lot. You are undertaking mm -hmm. quite a bit right now. I will tell you that. Am I brave? Am I so brave? You're like so brave. I'm so brave. You're just the bravest. Step one. I'm gonna talk you through this. Yes. The first thing we're gonna do is prime. I'm just gonna basically base you in this stuff. You just have, think of it as if I'm just such a fresh canvas, mm -hmm. you know? So pure. How should I be feeling? What should this transformation be like for me? It can be a lot actually mm -hmm. um, for people, women like me, sometimes mm -hmm. it can cause some gender feels, but it's honestly, it can be a little uncanny valley after you see your face, if you're getting your face done by someone mm -hmm. else. Because I've had, normal makeup done mm -hmm. before. And I've had like a goth makeover, but nothing this extensive. This is gonna be a little bit more extreme. It's gonna be Do we have paper towels extreme. or anything? Wow, this stuff sucks. What we're going to do now is cleanse your fucking eyebrows. Yeah. We're gonna eyebrows. cover them. So I'm using alcohol, this may sting if you have any broken skin. I'm also gonna do your sideburns. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, we're gonna my sideburns. We're gonna be gluing them down. Sorry, I didn't mean to scratch you. Am I gonna get nails? Yes. As far as what goes into a, a drag show, mm -hmm. what are the what are the staples, the pillars? It's very different every time. It depends on the type of performer that you are. There are dancers. Mm -hmm. There are people who just point and sing. There's people that do comedy routines to music. Mm -hmm. um, like lip syncing is one of the core tenets of drag, but like. People do stand up. There's all mm -hmm. different types of drag. You can be whatever you want. There's even uh, a gymnast who does drag is pretty famous, <gasps> uh, Katya. <gasps> so I was a gymnast in my former life. I've heard. Uh, we are gluing your brows down uh -huh. now because you have male brows and a male brow bone. Basically, what we're gonna do is raise the brow up mm -hmm. to create a more feminine illusion. I don't do this because I'm a lady. Well, actually I do, but I have this rule where if I'm putting someone in drag, I don't cover my eyebrows because I'm only doing that once a day. So we were talking about names earlier. We were. Off camera, because I need a drag name. You do. Now there's a few different ways to do a name. Yes. Technically, um, in the drag culture, because I'm the first person to put you in drag, I am your drag mother. Which means that you can take my last name, which is Valentine. Um, I didn't know about this. Yeah, you can do this. Uh, drag families do that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't have to take the same last name as your drag mother, but that's a lot of the ways it goes. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I would have a drag mother. Yeah, I'm your mommy. You ruined my fucking figure, <laughs> dick. <laughs> Asshole. I'm sorry, I didn't mean you to. You know what? I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine, I chose this, I agreed to it. Okay, Um. so that's to dry. While we're doing mm -hmm. that, I am going to cover what your extensive beard, your yes. very extensive, this is gonna take a really fertile long time. beard. Yes, it is gonna take a long time. There's so. so much stuff here. There is a lot and we will use most of it. So you said that this, the makeup portion mm -hmm. will take probably like two hours. Uh-huh. Is that how much it normally takes, two Depends hours? Depends on how much practice you have and what kind of face you are. There's, there's a lot of different drag faces, but two hours tends to be like the average. What kind of face am I? When you're going into drag, you can, sort of manipulate your features to create whatever look you want. Mm -hmm. In general, there are some limitations. You're going to be what we call fish. Fish! Yes, fish means that you are going to look very womanly. Like a fish? 
Well, so the term fish, uh, there's a few like sort of root sources that people mm -hmm. think, but the general consensus is that comes from the way um, feminine queer men's hips would sway from side to side like fish. It basically means you're going to look very feminine. Did you want to talk about pussy quests in this video? Um, I am raising money for my transition. Woo! It's called hashtag pussy quest. I've made two videos with my friend of promoting it. It's basically the quest to get me um, some of my like surgeries and stuff. One of which is a vagina because I don't have one, surprisingly. Yet. Yet. But if you go in the description down below, you too can help me get the hole that I need. Wow. And then just think of it this way. You paid for every future orgasm I have. And that's honestly, no matter how much money they donate, that's priceless. It really is. It's, it's a gift a that on keeps that. on giving. Mm -hmm. Just know you have a hand in every pleasurable act I have from now until forever. It's a beautiful thing. The circle of pussy. Thing. That is a beautiful thing. The circle of pussy. And for everybody watching, if you don't go in the description down below and click on that link, well, <laughs> let's just say that you're not a real fan. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Coming for their fucking necks. That sucks. I'm really excited for the wig portion. The wig portion's gonna be fun. I'll that, have you try on a few. I feel like that is such a big thing. We're it's a big out. part of it. It's funny. After you uh, asked me to do this, I was like, okay, I'm gonna look at images of your face and see what I can do and play with. Cause like we'd met before, but mm -hmm. I was like, I hadn't thought about putting you in drag. So I need to think about like what kind of eye look, what kind of whatever. And I was like, this boy's gonna be prettier than I am you. Um, oh, you looked at all my images and you went, um, um, ah, terrible. Terrible, uh, awful, next. awful. No, awful, awful, you're gonna look next. great in drag. Um, I'm very excited. The other thing um, to tell you like why this relates to wigs is that you don't really need the volume that comes from like really, really big hair. The bigger the hair, the smaller the face, the more feminine you look. But because you have like this elvish sort of face, um, you can get away with some- Elvis or elvish? Elvin, elvish. El Okay. Not Elvis. So Tell me you're... if this digs into your skin a little. Um, I won't. Oh my god. This is why I don't take makeup clients anymore. But isn't it nice though? Because then you can just do your thing. I don't want to actually hurt later. you until we get to the tucking portion. <sighs> the tucking portion. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Like I can guess what it means. But like people have always talked about tucking and it's just like, okay, I can guess what that means. But no one's ever explained exactly what it is. I will give you a very accurate description. So yes. basically, before puberty, do you remember when you were young and your testicles were a little bit higher than they are now? Yes. So did you ever go into the ocean when in like a cold, like Atlantic Ocean, say? Yes. When And you had them rise up into you? Into me? Like they rise up and they sort of like hover here. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're shoving your balls. Wait, so when you say into me, mm -hmm. what do you mean? What do you mean so, by into me? So on the sides of the male groin or, mm -hmm. you know, anyone that has a penis, there are two cavities, which are where the testicles originally descended from. And they grow with you as you age. We basically push the testes back up there, uh -huh. take the skin of the ball sack, mm -hmm. pull it back with the glands, and then tape it or use really tight panties to hold it in place. I like how he looked at my tuck when he did that. And you know, <laughs> when, I, when I do something, I go full force. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna just not do that portion because it's a part of it. Yeah, here's the thing though. Do you need me to help you do it? I don't know. If you do, I'm comfortable doing it, but I'm not I'm not gonna make you do anything out of your comfort zone as far as that. There is a video I can show you done by Willem Belli, but it can be a little hard to follow your first time. You know what I didn't even think of until right now is like, this is going to be a really great like learning video for a bunch of people watching. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, like I've never done this before. This is a new experience for me, but there's probably so many people that are gonna watch this video that have thought about getting into drag and they can learn. Hey. And probably learn from any mistakes that I make. <laughs> like not shaving my entire body before doing this. What would you say is like, the 10 commandments of drag. Never okay. wear a wig straight out the pack. Okay. Shake and go wigs are illegal. If a drag queen tells you you look busted, you need to fix it. Mm. Just just do it. No one looks good when they start unless they're you know, getting their makeup done by someone as beautiful as I am. But basically believe other queens when they tell you that something is 
in need of a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. There's also other things like if you are working at a club and uh, you are a newer queen and uh, you want to sing a song, make sure it isn't a standard for one of the older girls there because that will cause problems. Uh... It will be a problem. There's things that I think are rules. Don't just go straight to buying human hair wigs. Learn to use a synthetic. They can be just as good. I say, even though I'm wearing a human hair unit today, but you want to learn with like synthetic lace fronts and stuff like that. What else is there? Glitter fixes all sins. If you make a mistake on your eye makeup, just cover it with glitter. <laughs> God, I hate glitter. I, hate glitter I couldn't so tell much. from your reaction. You're going to get glitter today just for that reaction. Um, <laughs> It gets everywhere. It do. It gets everywhere. Yeah, um, no one told you that you can take it off with duct tape, did they? What? Yeah, so basically you take some duct tape, wrap it around your hand, oh. pat it on some fabric, and then put it on your eye to remove like glitter or like anywhere on your body, and you can remove it that way. That's a good idea. Yeah. What do you think for, because now I'm just thinking all about like, because I have a, a, a bit of a younger, audience mm -hmm. and so like what's the best way to get into drag like where where's a good place to start the thing that i recommend is like looking at the kind of women that you either respect or admire that are like publicly well known or anything like that and mm -hmm. see how they dress see how they walk see how they act or like and just like try to base your like drag character around that or mm -hmm. like because not every drag queen does a character i don't always do a character. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do. <laughs> How am I coming along? Drag is ugly until it gets pretty. So you look like an Oompa Loompa I'm right ugly now. ugly until I'm pretty. Yeah. Not all of us start out hot. Some of us need a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Not me, but you know you. Basically, um, once this last layer of brows is done, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna powder them, and then I'm gonna press some powder foundation into mm -hmm. them to make them completely go away. Am I gonna get really big lashes? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. I've never lashes. worn Fake eyeliner. You make it more than one pair. I don't think I have. So you were saying before how it's gonna take like a couple hours to get all the makeup on. Mm -hmm. What is this gonna be like for me later getting it off? Very easy because Very easy. I um, have, did I bring it? I think Please. I brought Abilene with me, which basically is like the remover of all removers. So it should be very easy. Abilene, makeup wipes and a cleanser, you're good. It can't be worse than the other day when I had four gallons of Elmer's glue on my body. If I didn't bring the Abilene, probably. You'd probably be scrubbing at your face for hours because I'm gonna put so many layers of cream and powder on you, it's gonna be ridiculous. Cream and powder. Cream and powder. Ugh. God, drag is so ugly until it gets pretty. I wanna know what I look like, but I don't. No, you know, no. you you want to see the end result. You yeah. don't want to see it right now. What's your what's your go to look for, for drag? both for you and for when you're doing drag for other people? So there is no go to look that I have for other people. I basically assess what they look like and what kind of drag look they'll suit, mm -hmm. and then I'll do their makeup accordingly. Do we have the wax strips? Should we yes. wax yes. some things? Because it's low effort, we can do my arms and stuff. Your arms you could keep if you wanted. No. Okay. Full, no. full commitment? Yeah, we have to fully commit. Okay. We have to fully commit. It's gonna be a multi-person job, I think. Okay. Where Let's are we go. going? Oh, are we going in the other room? You need water. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how things work. Or did you want did you want to just go straight in with the wax here? We can just go straight in with the wax. Alright, take your pants off. Wait, aren't we doing my arms? Isn't that what we're doing? You have one shaped leg. That's true. I have one shaped leg. Okay, here we, here we go. That treasure trail is gonna have to go too. <laughs> so this will be fun. I'm nervous. How's this gonna work? What are we? Uh, oh no. I'm afraid. You should be. I read the instructions, so I'm basically an expert now. Did you read the instructions? Yes. Ah! Give me your arm. Oh, my arm. Or arm, stomach, which you prefer first. Let's let's do the arms first. Okay. Uh oh. Are you gonna? Uh, what's the? What are we doing? Do you need a safe word? No. Are you sure? Well, isn't do you that, want one? Uh, Try gummy bear. Gummy bear. <laughs> Welcome to womanhood. Uh, At least you don't have to give birth to do drag. No. You ready? You ready, just, sweetie? Yeah. Are you sure? Sure. Oh. 
It's the hesitation that's awful. I know, that's why I'm doing it. Ah! I said I didn't want to cause him pain, but I'm having a great time. It's either this, or you experience what's known as testicular ripping from duct tape later. Huh. Huh. Testicular ripping? Yeah, because ah. if the duct tape gets too stuck on there, it will rip. That's why we oh, don't have hair down there when we tuck. Testicular ripping. Is that your new safe word, sweetie? Yeah, that's my new safe word is testicular ripping. Mm. <sighs> So, are we continuing with the other arm and the rest of your body? I or think are we I should shaving? shave. You think you should just shave? Yeah. Are you, you think you should do what I told you in the beginning? Yeah. And instead of the wax strips? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I think it's punishment I should do your treasure trail. Why? Because you literally asked for this. <sighs> you do the treasure trail, I'll help you shave the rest. What if I just do the rest by myself? Can you? I can! You were in there for like an hour trying to shave one leg. Well, but now I'm good at it. I'm so good at it. Uh -huh. I'm, so I'm so good at it. Mm -hmm. It's incredible how good at it I am. Mm -hmm. I'm so good at it. Assume the position. Ah! 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 Where? Just to try the trail. <laughs> you can say no. Consent is a thing. <sighs> yeah, but content, you know? Mm, content. But the content. For the cont. Oh. Oh. It's so fast. You're having a great time. Thanks so much for inviting me. Right? It's, it's so fun. It's so mm -hmm. fun. Okay. I can do this. Can I place it? Sure. You just gotta do it right. There's a reason I was placing it the way I was. How do, how do you do it? So you have to place it in the direction of the hair and then rub down the direction of the hair and then pull in the opposite direction. Here? What yes. if it pulls my belly button out, out, off? Well, then your intestines will come through and uh, there'll be a shorter end to the video. Ah! No, now it has to come off! Rub it downward, so. otherwise it's not gonna work. Nope, use your full hand and your body heat. Yeah. Okay. Pull up. Do it in one go, otherwise you're gonna hate yourself. Hold on, ready? Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, we're ready. I think you're not. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, it's like a, oh, okay, wait. One, two, three. Fuck. You have to do it. I thought so. Are you ready? Are you serious? Yeah. You asked me to be nice, I'll be nice. Yeah, do it on okay. three. Three. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Three, two, one. It wasn't that bad. It actually wasn't that bad. That's because it didn't work. Oh, God damn it. Well, now we have to shave the rest. Where did the razors go? Oh, they're right here. Okay. All right, I'll be, I'll be back. Do you want help? No, I think I can do it. I'll holler. Okay, remember the directional stuff I told you, sweetie? The direction, yes. Shave in the direction of the hair and then against it to get the smoothest shave. The direction of the hair. And then against it. Yeah, to get and make sure you do vertical speed. motions on the sides of the leg. Vertical, vertical motions. Also, the back of your leg may grow in the opposite direction, so make sure you check. The back, the box, the back of the... I'll see him in another hour. That was so much fun. <laughs> Shave in the opposite direction. Opposite of that, you go up and down, essentially. It's not working. The wax won't come off. Is my lovely daughter struggling? It's the wax. Oh, did you actually, did you not wipe it off? Did I not, oh, was I supposed to wipe it off? Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna come up the razor. Uh, Tell me you have more than one in there. Yes. Okay, uh, you probably just wanna throw that one out. Okay, um, we need something that we can wipe wax off with. What's the, the thing for the makeup? Why yeah, I'll get a makeup wipe, that's perfect. Good idea. I'll be right back. I yeah. It's not working. Not really. Here, let me try. You okay with me touching you? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's sticking <laughs> right to it. I'm gonna go get the lotion and see if that will help. That treasure trail really did not want to go. No. Here, try rubbing some of this on it. Does it hurt as bad when you rub it? No. Then that means it's listening. The things we go through for beauty. Just saying. Wow, that really does not want to come off. It might just be there forever. It's not gonna be there forever. It's there forever. Oh my god. It is coming off. It's just 
Not fast enough. You want to see the monstrosity that's happening here? It's yeah. Hi, mom. Is it good enough? Do you think? I think it's good enough. Yeah. Where am I shaving again? Everywhere. You need to at least shave your other leg, your groin, and your butt, okay. including crack. Good luck. Call if you need me. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, you are now fully shaved. My gams are shaved. They are shaved. What do we do now? Um, I'm going to powder your brows so that it's no longer tacky. It's gonna be a lot of powder, so keep your eyes closed for now. Okay. Cool. I'll get it off. Hello. Who is it? Hmm. I don't know. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> what are we doing now? My eyes? I am adding white for high contrast. Uh -huh. Also because I want to spotlight your face. Spotlight my face? Basically putting all the light and attention in the center of your face to feminize it. How long have you been doing makeup for? As a profession? Yeah. Um, I only did it as a profession for, I think, a year. And then uh -huh. I couldn't stand it. Was it the clients? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Was when was... When was drag invented? Uh, drag has a long and rich history, and it depends on which culture you're talking about. Drag has been in Western culture, has roots in Shakespearean lit, um, literature and plays and stuff. Um, but drag has been around in many cultures for a very long time. This is contour. Contour. This is like the, basically I underpainted you to get some color in contrast in. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going in and basically dragging the f out of you. What's your favorite, what's your favorite part? Taking it off. <laughs> Just kidding. Taking that's every, that's every drag queen's answer. Um, I like the transformative element of it. I think of drag less as female impersonation and more as a sort of like toying with gender in mm -hmm. some ways. And I enjoy that aspect. Even though I am binary trans woman, there's something freeing with loosing yourself into this like bigger, larger than life creature that may or may not have an actual gender or whatever. And I think a lot of modern drag is a take on that. Like a lot of modern drag is more gender fuck than anything else. Even though I like do full female, like trans female, female illusionist or whatever, I still think of it as like playing with perceptions of what gender is or what femininity is for me. Mm -hmm. um, people who are drag kings play with masculinity. And then there's people who are drag artists who like play with the in-between or like not at all of our current concepts of gender. Um, and like, you don't need to be like non-cis to do that either, which is the other thing too. Like anyone can play with gender. It's just fun. Also the attention's fun too. I love attention. I can't tell. No, there is literally no one, there is no one who asks, can you put me in drag who doesn't fucking like attention? <laughs> Clint Eastwood. I love that. Oh my God. Clint Eastwood. That's beautiful. That's so good. Are we still baking? I'm actually brushing out the bake now. The bake is just to make sure everything that I put that's cream, concealer, powder, foundation, not powder, but foundation underneath doesn't move. I really need these brows to be covered. There, that's much better. It's the wrong color, but I can always fix that after. I'm gonna do powder contour after, so it's a little cover up. <laughs> little, little tiny punches all over my face. I could be gentler if you want me to, mm. you know, if you're a little bitch about it. Okay, I will be a little bitch about it. What happened to this big girthy man that was up talking shit earlier? I don't know if I ever described myself as a big girthy man. <laughs> yes, you, something like that. You don't need to make that face. I, uh, I have to look at it. I'm so, so sorry. So can you please not make it? I just don't know what else to do. Just stand there and look pretty or as close as you can. Once I turned you into a girl, you can do whatever you want. Oh, is that when I can step on people? I mean, probably. Who wants to be stepped on? Every one of my Twitter DMs. <laughs> Not even a joke. I'm very excited about that eye makeup. I'm the eye makeup is the, the, when you put the eye makeup on, that's when you truly start feeling the fantasy, I think. So we're gonna start with the eye makeup, the best part. Here we go. What's the eye look we're doing? Right now we're doing this, the basic, I'm, I'm still using one color. I'm doing a basic um, neutral eye that I'm gonna then cut the crease and put some glitter in it and darken the outer rim. A cut crease, it's um, it's a style of eye makeup where there's a much lighter lid with a defined border um, with usually a smokier outside, although not always. Um, now I am going to clean this off. 
What are we doing? Glitter! Oh no. Why though? Glitter! This is only the first layer. I don't like glitter. Should it sting? Does it sting? Yeah. Like burning or like just irritation? No burning. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's it not should, bad. It shouldn't burn. Well, we'll find out. Okay, look up and away. We're gonna do the underside. Blink. 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 Okay. Goody goody gumdrops. I'm a hero. Oh, we're almost done. I just gotta blacken that up a little bit more. Oh, and then we got to do the lip transformation. Mm hmm That's coming. What color lips are we going for? See, I wanted to do a red on you, but the, the eye's a little bit pinkier than I expected. So I think we're going to go with a neutral, something dark, though. Lips, 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 lips. Hmm. I'm trying to decide how thick and luscious I want these. But if you're going to be part of my family, mm -hmm. you need to have some big old dick-sucking lips. Give me the DSO. I mean, no daughter of mine's leaving the house without some lips that look good around a hard one. Open wider, wider, bigger, thicker mm. cock. That's, thank you. You're keeping a straight face so well. I'm so proud of you. I don't know why I bother covering your facial hair. Your lips basically take up the entire space that was there. Big at the lash. Oh my God, that's perfect. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, don't close your eyes. Oh. I actually need you to blink, blink, blink. Keep blinking, just keep blinking. This is the laziest way of applying mascara, but this is what I do with troublesome people. Oh, I'm troublesome. You just have sensitive eyes, honestly. Also, if you think this glue is scary, wait till you see the wig glue. Do you glue it? Oh, if you want them to stay on during a performance or in general, honestly. This feels You're so- You're a woman! This feels so heavy. It should. It feels like I have blinders on. Okay, open. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. Hey. Um, it feels like I, <laughs> The weight of womanhood is a burden you must learn to bear. It feels bear. like I have a weird haircut. It just like my bangs. You, you think you have a weird haircut now? Here. Okay. Last, this is the last step of the makeup. Close your eyes. Oh. oh. All right, now comes the fun parts. Well, actually, should we make you tuck first and then wig or wig then tuck? I feel like the tuck should be the last step. It will not be the last step. Oh. You have to tuck to put clothes on. Oh. You know what? I feel like you don't deserve hair until you're fully a lady. Let's let's discuss tucking. All right, let's discuss it. Do you need me to show you how to do it? Uh, give me a diagram. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol, this part of your body, okay, right here, because you have like shaving cream excess on there, otherwise we wouldn't find it. And right here, where the tape is gonna stick. Then you take the testes. Wait, was I should, supposed to shave like down to the core here? Oh. I thought you just said my butt. I said your butt and groin. Uh, the balls are there. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely specifically told you to shave your balls. Yeah. Why would you think that anything above that would be? <laughs> Go shave your crotch. Wow. <laughs> How much time do we have? <laughs> you have two hours. Oh, but I don't want to see myself yet. Oh. Do you need to see yourself to shave your crotch? We can just, <laughs> oh, yeah. you can go. <laughs> I guess I don't. <laughs> we'll just get you the shaving cream and the razor and you can just do it back there and no one will come there. I don't know what I'm doing. Why are you walking around like a goblin? Like, what is happening? I don't know. Give me your drag come on. It's me. Here, shave but not by a mirror. In there, no one will go back there. Okay. You good? Oh, I can look up now. I, I had to just do this. <laughs> okay, so let's have a conversation about how we're gonna do this. So what are we doing here? What are we working with? So alcohol, wipe, front, mm -hmm. back. back. You get no less than three or four strips of tape. Duct tape. <laughs> Duct tape. In this case, Gorilla tape. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had normal duct tape. Yeah, but it, you said it didn't stick, so it's not gonna work for this. Well, it'll, it'll do. Right. We're using uh, Gorilla Tape. You take four pieces of Gorilla Tape. Four pieces of Gorilla Tape. And then you take your testes in your hands. 
you push one up inside of you. It's probably gonna go a little back and then up. <laughs> and then you do the same on the other side. And then you take the scrotum, pull it back. You take the glands, pull it back. And then you take a single strip of tape down the middle, pull it here, up across your butthole, stick it to the back. And then do another strip here for the side and another strip here for the side. And then take the fourth strip and do it again in the center. And then if anything's pinching or doing it out, either ignore it and accept your suffering or take more tape and do it. And then you put on tucking panties, which I will provide for you. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to do that? Probably. My recommendation before you like start doing all the taping and stuff is just like wiggle them around until they pop inside. It'll feel really uncomfortable at first, but you'll get used to it. Okay. Where's this tape? <laughs> Thank you. Will you uh, have Persephone come back here so I can ask questions? Ask me about your genitalia. <laughs> what do I do with my dick? <laughs> so when I said the glands, I meant the tip of the penis. You take that in the shaft after you've pulled back the scrotum and you've tucked your testes away and you pull it back and then you tape it basically to your taint. Ethan, tuck testes, it, tuck your balls. balls. Yeah, no, I- Push your balls up in your body, flatten your ball sack across that. The daddy pillows. <laughs> what if they don't come back? What if they don't come back? They I don't need... come back. No, they can sometimes get stuck up there. Really? No. <laughs> this is the longest I've ever talked about tucking with anyone, and that includes other trans people. <laughs> <laughs> he lost a ball. Where do I put the alcohol? <laughs> only, you only wipe down your pubic mount, so above where the shaft comes out and your lower back where you're gonna stick the tape. It's only so that this tape adheres. La 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 Going up there, boys. Yep. Hmm. They just keep coming back down. You have to hold them up there when you do the tape. Oh! Oh my God. They don't stay there? If they just stayed there, I'd just like suck my belly in and hold it. I guess. Ah, ah, ah. Are you all right? I don't know how to stand. Okay, the tape should be large enough that it has some give. Also, if your butt cheeks are stuck to it, pull them out. I don't get it. Mika? Yeah? Will you help me? What is up? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with it? I can't straighten my legs. Why? You need to talk to me. You have to explain what's going on. <laughs> Did you just look at my ass? Mika, describe what happened. Hey, hey, whoa! <laughs> Don't do it so fast. You're fine. Well, he didn't put the duct tape between his cheeks in the thing. <laughs> I literally told you to put it between your cheeks. How? Oh my God. Like a thong. Oh, it's so sticky. Straighten your back. <laughs> Straighten up. <laughs> <laughs> You're standing like an old woman. <laughs> Just. Strain your back. Put your legs together. Yes, you can. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. I love this day. This day is a good day. Ethan. Oh, yeah. You're fine. Give me the pants. Is it normal to not be able to walk? Don't look too far forward. <laughs> okay, stop walking like a duck. You should be able to walk normally. I can't. Stand up straight. Are your cheeks stuck together? Maybe, I don't know. Can, can you go back in there, pull your ass cheeks away from the tape, and then make sure your ass cheeks sort of eat it? Ow, 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 ow! Ethan, pull your ass apart! It's fine, I feel great now. This feels so much better. So much better. How'd it go? It goes, it's going good. Oh, it looks like it feels so much better. <laughs> Wait, he's sitting there, and he, I'm like, it has to go between your cheeks. Spread them, and he's like, I am. <laughs> 
hands out here. <laughs> <laughs> like grab your cheeks and spread them. He's like, what if I'm lost? <laughs> All right, gang, let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's roll out. Oh, sitting down's weird. <laughs> it's because you refuse to unstick your cheeks. You look so dejected right now. I feel like I'm in some sort of fever dream. What's that? Well, this also goes over your ball sack. Oh. No, it's a little bit cap. <laughs> I don't know what anything it's is. It's like a anymore. condom for your hair. If you're gonna be in this family, you gotta do what's right. I tried so hard. What's that? Another device of torture. It just holds liquor on. Oh. Okay, now for the fun part. The fun what part. What kind of girl do you wanna be? We've got Ash Blonde. We've got E-Girl. We've got traditional black. Pink. Pink-er. What do you think, what do you think? Because I have no idea what I look like. I think you go with what whatever your heart says, because I have no idea what I look like still. My heart instantaneously thought that this should be what you wear. Then let's do it. Do I need to hold my breath? Um, I would recommend not breathing the stuff in, but you should be fine. Okay, so I need you to open your eyes. So basically I'm gonna, yeah, you know how to do this. Oh my God. All right. Now, we just, <laughs> she's on. Time to style. Do I look pretty? Yeah, you do actually. What is the, is it half black, half white? Yup. Whoa. Actually, you look really good. Like really good. Excited to see it all come together. Yeah, I'm good. I'm very good at this. <laughs> I'm very, turn around, show, show the class. You don't have <laughs> Whoa. Am I pretty? Now I have to learn how to pose. Stand <laughs> feet like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. One hip. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's put you in heels before I kill you. Okay. So do you see anything here that super interested or calls to you? Whoa. I like this. You like that? How do I put on a dresser? Uh, first, yeah. here's some <laughs> tights for you. Stick your foot then in it. Then you put your foot in it. Okay, this is so funny. Nothing's funny about my struggle oh my as a woman. As a lady. You're right, no one can tell you anything about your struggle. You straighten those out? Now this should fit, it has a lot of shearing, which means stretch. How do I put on my dress? Raise thine arms. Yep. Yes, put, yep, Here. dive in. I don't wanna mess up my like hair. Like you're swimming. Now let's get rid of that thick manish figure. You're gonna oh, hate the this. Corset. The corset? You're I feel like I'll like have no issue with the corset. Oh, I don't think you understand exactly what a corset does. I understand yes, what a corset sweetie. does. I don't imagine that this will be worse than tucking. That was, <laughs> it was really complicated and I really didn't know Sorry. what path don't to, get to this go along. Your face, but... I didn't know what path to go. You think corsets aren't complicated, bitch? I am going to put my knee on your back and I'm going to tighten the shit out of this. Okay. So deep breath in, out. That's the only black belt I brought. I was thinking about that. Do you want the front or the back? Front. Oh, that's cute. Feeling this Alice, semi madness Alice, um, Alice and Madness about. Returns vibe. So let's put a bow in your hair. Where are the earrings that I put in here? Uh, don't worry about taking your earrings out. Do you want the big necklace? Yeah. There we go. Also, a lady Ooh, never a leaves without perfume. Ooh. Mm hmm. That's a nice smell, it, isn't it? So I think clearly we know which shoes you have to wear either oh. stilettos. Or these Jeffrey Campbellitas. I like the boots. That's what I thought. So I know you thought you were an 11 and a half, but the fact is, is you're an 11. Ah. 11, you are basically the same size as I am. Okay, stand. <clears throat> Shoulders back. Mm. Mm. Push down, head back. Center of gravity on the heel. Heel toe, cross your legs. Okay, let me show you how I'm gonna demonstrate. So, I'm in heels. When you're in heels, the center of your weight and gravity should be on the heel when you're standing. 
You don't have to, you don't lean back. Just make sure that instead of it being on the toes, like you're wearing sneakers or on the ball of your foot, like in the center of your foot, it's on the back. Now push down with your shoulders, like push. That will lift the chest. Not as exaggerated. And then like, head back. I'm not trying to make this a joke. I'm legitimately like trying to do okay. everything. So loosen up, loosen up. I'm going to put you in the right position. Don't worry. That's your neutral stance. So like this. Okay. Yes. Now, if you want to have a more comfortable position in heels, put one foot forward and make sure that there's an angle to the other foot. So the heel of the left one should be pointed towards the center of the right, of the other foot, the right foot. There you go. Feel that, that that's balanced? Yeah. One step. And then in front of the other. We're crossing? Yeah. Yes. Like you're walking the line, surprise toes. Okay, you're not in a chorus line. Okay, my balls are dropping. Watch me, watch me for a second. <laughs> watch me, for, well, are they? A little bit. Push them, okay. back in, push them back in. <laughs> Good girl. Well, not. <laughs> what am I doing? Walking. Walking. <laughs> Wait for me. Hey. Hold on. Reset. Back to one. Okay. Where should I look? Look where you're walking, first of all. That's much Yo. better. That's <sighs> much better. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, oh, it's really scary. You are leading a lot with your shoulders, yeah. which is a very mask thing. I don't know how to you not are, lead with my shoulders. You are you are so close. So here's the thing, here's the thing. The leg that you move forward is the one where the hip comes out. So look at me. I'm gonna make this really exaggerated. So, da. This is the hip, and this is the leg that I'm going for. And then da da. So this is the one that's going forward. That was little better. A little bit. You're getting the right motion. You know, maybe I think I know the problem. I haven't seen myself yet. You haven't seen yourself yet? I don't know who I am yet. I haven't seen myself yet. I thought you saw yourself in the mirror when you went to the bathroom. No, I didn't look in the mirror. Okay, do we-, we I cannot I, believe you haven't seen yourself. Oh my God. I haven't seen this, myself This is yet. the most important thing. I have in my hands your mirror. This is like princess. To show you America's next top drag queen. Ooh. I would date myself if I had huge tits. Ooh. I like the eyes a lot. Oh, it's so weird to look at myself because it doesn't look like me. Yeah. It's a whole transformation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm so pretty. Are you you do family? look really good. The eyebrows are so good. I do kind of look like a bitch. It's so weird because I look so confident and I'm not. Well, that's wow. the power of drag, honestly. It's putting on a character in something larger than life that gives you confidence. And then you realize you can be that person all the time. You need I a name. Think... Who do you see? Yeah. In the mirror. I don't know what my name is. What do you think my name should be? I mean, you're giving off very Alice vibes right now. Could be Alice Valentine. It could be Alice Valentine. It is. It is. Alice Valentine. And now I have to I have a cool That's pose. the name? Yeah! A new queen is born. <laughs> I wanted to jump, but I shouldn't do that. Okay. You so did it. Is. Did it. You did it. <laughs> like it, counts. Centimeter. It, counts. <laughs> it counts. It counts. It counts. I feel so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. I feel so pretty. It's time to go fuck up at Denny's. It really is. I gotta be honest. I think someone could, if you were by yourself somewhere, someone would hit on you. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this was this was so cool. Yeah, I you feel look like great. A whole, a whole other person. You're a whole ass woman. I'm a whole ass woman. Yeah, it turned out yeah. really, really well. I'm actually, I'm impressed with myself and also your level of patience, because this was a lot to go through. The corset at first was not bad. The corset now is not fun. No, not I not imagine not, no. Not at all. Wait until you remove it, because that's fun. Yeah. Where <gasps> can people find you? Hi. And is there anything you want to promote? Sure, um, you can find me at Persephiroth on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, I stream on Twitch three times a week. You can also check out stuff that I'm doing with Dropout, like I'm um, actually, which premiered today, which is Friday, whenever this comes out. It's 
will be there. I do a lot of tabletop stuff and video game shit on top of dragon makeup and other things like that. Oh, and uh, I am raising money for my transition. Um, look for hashtag pussy quest. Hell yeah. It'll be the first link in the description. So you can go and check it out. Thank you so much for, you. for making me a queen. For Thanks for being me. my drag mom. Next time I'll bring you a tiara. I should have brought you a tiara. Say it with more confidence. I'm the queen bitch now. More! I'm the queen bitch now. Scream it! I'm the queen bitch now. We'll work on it. <laughs>